Brett Offalo, John LeBachelor, and Clive Dunn in Dad's Army. <laughs> Episode 17, Room at the Bottom, featuring John Laurie and Arnold Ridley, with this week's guests, John Ringham and Jack Watson. <laughs> Here is the news, and this is John Snag reading it. The date is 1941. The Nazi menace, like some giant octopus, spreads its tentacles across the face of Europe, from the frozen wastes of Russia to the rolling Atlantic. Here in our island fastness, the gallant men of Britain's home guard, determined that our streets shall never echo to the tramp of jackboots, strive diligently to protect our hearth and home. At the Church Hall, Walmington-on-Sea, headquarters of the local platoon, Sergeant Wilson is in the side office when an officer from GHQ arrives. Oh, good evening, Captain Turner. Good evening, Sergeant. Where's Captain Mannering? Well, we have the <clears throat> auditors in the bank, so Captain Mannering's had to stay behind to clear up a few points. Oh, I see. Well, I'm afraid I can't wait for him. I've got to call on two other units in the area. Perhaps you could give him a message for me. Oh, certainly, sir. Yes, yeah, a bit awkward, really. Mm -hmm. Look, tell me, how long has Mr. Mannering been a captain? Well, well uh, ever since we started, sir. You mean when you were local defence volunteer? That's right, sir, yes. But there were no commissions in the LDV. What? Well, not there, sir? Well, no, of course not. Um, how did he get to be a captain in the first place? Well, he, uh, he, uh, sort of made himself one, sir. <laughs> oh, did he? Mind you, there's been all sorts of ranks in the Home Guard, and we're only just starting to sort it all out. Well, I'm very sorry and all that, but he never was a captain, and he can't walk around with three pips on his shoulder. You'll just have to take one of them off. Uh, you must tell him as soon as he gets here. Yes, sir. All right, yes, sir. I'll yes. do that. You can also tell him I'll confirm it in writing in the next few days. Very well, sir. All right. Good night, Sergeant. Good night, sir. And your lieutenant. <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. Fancy that. <laughs> oh, Mr. Mannering. Let's see now. How can I put it to him? Oh. I'm afraid I've got some rather bad news for you, Mannering. No, I certainly don't. Uh, no. Now, look here, Mannering. You better brace yourself for a shock. One of those pips has just got to come off. <laughs> I know, it's hopeless, absolutely hopeless. You must keep it short, that's the thing. Keep it short, that's the best way. Good evening, Lieutenant Mannering. <laughs> <laughs> You're all right, Wilson. Oh, yes, I'm perfectly... Per oh, uh, good evening, Mr. Mannering. So sorry, I, I, I didn't hear you come in. You usually talk to yourself. No, 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 no. I, I was just thinking aloud. By the way... You'll be pleased to hear that I managed to get that drill sergeant. Hmm? What drill sergeant? Oh, really, Wilson. Don't you remember? I said the platoon was getting a bit sloppy. Anyhow, this chap's coming on Friday to give the men an hour's drill. Should be pretty good. He's from the Coldstream Guards. Oh, well, that's something to look forward to, isn't it, sir? Yes. <laughs> and, Wilson, I've told you before, don't go wandering around with your battle dress collar undone and your cuffs rolled up like that. You're not one of the drill cream boys, you know. <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Captain Turner left a message for you. Oh, he's been here, has he? Yes, sir, but he couldn't wait. What did he want? Usual red tape nonsense, I suppose. Uh, yes, sir. He says you've got to take a pip off. <laughs> Is that all? I... What did you say? <laughs> he says you're not really a captain, sir. You, you, you should only be a lieutenant. Try to be funny, Wilson. Oh, no, sir. No, no, no. Well, as soon as settle this, I'll get on to GHQ right away. Back up, start. Up in... uh, hello? Eastgate, one double six, please. But he's got nothing better to do. You know, Wilson, sometimes I think that... Hello? Is that GHQ? Ah, it's Mannering. Mannering. Captain Mannering, Warmington on Sea Platoon. Well, I'm sorry to bother you, but there seems to be some mistake. Captain Turner was here earlier on this evening, and he left some peculiar garbled message about... What? Yes. Well, yes, of course... It's... It's just possible that my sergeant could have got it wrong. I see, I see, yes. <laughs> Quite absurd, of course, yes. Something about taking a pip down. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> oh, I thought so, yes. Thank you very much. What's the game, Wilson? The game, sir? Yes, the game. What's the idea of saying that I wasn't a captain? Making me ring up GHQ like that? What sort of a fool do you think I look? Well, who did you speak to, sir? The sergeant in the office. Of course, he didn't know what I was talking about. Ah. Well, I'm waiting for your explanation. You know, I'm forced to say that you have confirmed a suspicion that's been in my mind for some weeks now. Very, sir. What's that? 
that you're jealous of me, Wilson. <laughs> jealous, sir? Oh, don't think I haven't noticed the way that you keep looking enviously at my officer's hat. <laughs> and my insignia of rank. You don't fool me, you know, for a minute, Wilson. <laughs> You'd give anything to be in my shoes. I can assure you, sir, you're quite wrong. I'm not in the home guard for the glory I can get out of it. These three pips mean nothing to me. I'd be just as happy to be a sergeant or even a simple private. If that phone was to ring right now and they said that I was no longer a captain, it wouldn't mean... <laughs> that much to me. Uh, more return on sea, home guard. Uh, just a minute, please. It's for you, sir. Thank you. Hello, Mannering here. Hey, oh, good evening, sir. How are you? What? Yes, yes, I did ring earlier, yes. I spoke to the sergeant there. Hmm. He'd only just come on duty. He didn't know what, sir. Oh, oh, yes. Yes, I... Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Well, Wilson, you were quite right. You mean you've, uh, you've got to lose a pip, sir? Yes. Well, I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I really am. Well, there's only one thing to do, I'm afraid. Hmm? What are you doing with that knife, sir? Well, well, don't do it, sir. Please, don't, don't, don't do it. <laughs> it's not worth it. What's the matter with you? Hmm? I'm going to cut the pips off, that's all. <laughs> only a pen knife, you know. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You see, for a moment I thought that... Uh... Excuse me. What is it, Godfrey? I can't see the really dirty cups. I'm just going to do the washing up. Well, I've finished with mine. Oh, thank you. Uh, can I help, Mr. Mannering? How do you mean, Godfrey? Well, you see, let me struggle with your jacket. Your tailor is my line, sir. Don't forget I was 35 years the gentleman's outfitting at the Army and Navy stores. I doubt if that can be of much help to me now, Godfrey. Well, at least let me try, sir. Oh, very well. Here's the penknife. Oh, thank you. What seems to be the trouble... I'm taking a pip off each shoulder. Oh, I see. Well, trouble is you can always see the mark where the pips have been. Yes, I know. <laughs> Why are you taking them off, sir? No, I can't go into all that now. It's a long story. It's the best I can do for you, I'm afraid, sir. Thank you, Godfrey. And uh, don't say anything to the men about this, will you? About what, sir? Oh, never mind. <laughs> all right, you can go. Oh, all right, sir. Well, what are you going to do, sir? No time to dismiss the parade. The men are bound to notice you've taken your pips off. Hmm. Well, let me see. Oh, I know. I'll wear my rubber shoulder protectors. Ah, yes. <laughs> you mean the things Walker designed from old car tyres? That's it, Wilson. <laughs> Where did I put them? You were going to equip the whole platoon, but Walker was charging too much for the tyres. <laughs> ah, here we are. Now... If I put one on each shoulder, no one can see my badges of rank. There we are. Oh, yes. That's very fetching, sir. This is no time for flippancy, Wilson. <laughs> uh, and, of course, uh, Godfrey already knows you've taken your pips off. Oh, don't worry about him. Doesn't know what day it is. Uh, well, I don't know. Uh, I said who he was. And you say he was taking one of his pips off, Mr. Godfrey? Yes, that's right. Well, perhaps he's been promoted. That must be it. The next step up is a major. He'd have to take his three pips off to put a crown on. For a major, Valerie. <laughs> a rather nice ring to it, wouldn't it? Yeah. All right, man, four in, three ranks. Oh. Can't wait to see what he's wearing on his shoulders. All right, platoon. Pay attention, I platoon. A tad, shut! Platoon, stand at ease. Now, just before we break off, I want to tell you about next Sunday's exercise. Mr. Speak, sir? What is it, Jones? Why are you wearing your shoulder protectors, sir? <laughs> is that the um, standard dress from now on? No, it isn't, Jones. I'm just testing them. Anything wrong with that? No, sir, I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> now, about the exercise. You will... Mr. Speak, sir? <sighs> yes, Jones. You always told us it's not the man we salute, but the King's Commission. That's right. Well, how can we salute you if we can't see your rank? You'll have to take your shoulder protectors off, you know. All right. I may as well tell you now that... Oh, sorry I'm late, Mr. Mundy, but I've been listening to my wireless. It's all right, Fraser. Fall in. Uh, the best mark 
has been sunk, sir. What? The German battleship on the Bismarck it has been sunk. It's just come through on the wireless. Hey! Oh! <laughs> All right. All right, men, dismiss. Next parade, 1800 hours tomorrow. <laughs> This is excellent news, Wilson. Yes, it is, though, isn't it? Once again, the Royal Navy has saved your bacon. Come in. Oh, good evening, uh, Captain Turner. Evening, Wilson. <coughs> Mr. Mannering, not here, yes? Uh, no, it's not. We've, uh, we've still got these uh, auditors in at the bank. Ah, oh, pity. Uh, how did he take it last night? Take what, sir? His pips off, man. Well, he, he cut them off with a penknife. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, how did it affect him? Oh, well, he, he put a brave face on it, sir, but I, I really do think he was pretty cut up. You see, sir, he just, uh, he just lives for the Home Guard. Yes, I realise that, Sergeant, and that only makes my task more difficult. Well, what task's that, sir? Well, the trouble is, you see, when Mannering rang up GHQ yesterday, they mm. started looking into things, and it appears that he hasn't even been granted a commission as a lieutenant. I don't think I quite understand, sir. Well, it's perfectly simple. Mannering hasn't got any rank at all. Therefore, he's got no authority to be in charge of this platoon. It's all in this letter. I'll give it to him as soon as he arrives. All right, sir. Oh, and by the way, you're in command of the platoon. Shall I can make other arrangements? I'm in command of the platoon. Oh, Lord. Sir, sir, sir. Oh. Evening, Mr. Mannering. Oh, is that Miss Mannering in the hall? Look, I think it would be better if he didn't see me. I I'll go out by the side door. Oh, I and don't forget to give him that letter, will you? Right, carry on, Jones. Hello, Wilson. Hello, sir. Is it raining? What do you mean? Well, you're wearing your Macintosh, sir. It's only so that the men couldn't see that I'd take the pips off my shoulders. Ah. But I can't go on with this subterfuge forever, Wilson. The platoon has to be told that I'm only a lieutenant, and that's that. After all, ours not to reason why. Yes, right, but before you do anything, sir, I think you ought to read this letter. Captain Turner left it for you. Thank you, sir. He's been here again, has he? Yes, sir, but he couldn't stop. I don't know what's the matter with that chap. Anyone would think he didn't want to see me. <laughs> now, what have we got to say? Yes, well, sir, I, I'll leave you to read your letter, sir. Um, for, for a while. I, see, I, I noticed one of my... Bicycle tyres seemed a bit, uh, bit flat, so I think I'll... That's what I'll do. I'll, I'll go and pump at it. Pump it up. Very well. If you must. I, I shall be just out here in the alley if you want me, sir. What's matter with him? No. Oh, my God. Scott, he shot himself. <laughs> Mannering, Captain Mannering, are you all right? Say something. Oh, I'm wounded, Wilson. Oh, dear, dear, sir. Where, where, where? Here. Inside. Are oh, you in pain? <sighs> Sorry about that, sir. We, we were in the hall, and Mr. Godfrey he got one up the spout of his rifle, and it just went off. Oh, thank God for that. I, I thought for one horrible moment that... Uh... I said it's all right, Mr. Mannering. Very good, Jones. Carry on. What's the matter with him, Mr. Wilson? He's all gone all far away. Come back, sir. Come back. It's all right, sir. It's all right. Mr. Manning's had a bit of a shock. Oh, dear. I never thought a rifle going off would affect him like that. <laughs> well, there you are, you see. I can't get over it. Fancy Mr. Manning not being an officer at all. He's not an officer at all. Wonder how he's taking it. Oh, I hear it was terrible at the bank today. Never came out of his office once. <laughs> Mr. Wilson told me to put his letters under the door. Yes, of course, Mr. Manor. We're going to miss him, you know. Yeah, it's his own fault if you ask me. He's been dead in Providence for a long time, strutting about the place like a peacock. Well, I like Mr. Manor, and he's always so considerate, never unkind or anything like that. <laughs> I wonder who we're going to get in his place. Yes, a point, Mr. Godfrey. I hadn't thought of that. Whoever it is, I hope he doesn't shout. I can't stand people who shout. You're too soft a lot, are you? You need somebody to shout a bit. Well, I would not think what would happen if you were in charge, Fraser. You'd have us running around from what's-his-name to breakfast time. <laughs> what a wonder. I'd knock spots off you. All right, all right. Come on, come on. Four in you, chaps. Who's the can? Look here. I think I ought to tell you that I have been uh, put in charge of the platoon until a new officer can be appointed. Oh, 
Does that mean you'll be leading us in the exercise on Sunday? Yes, Fraser, I'm afraid it does. Will Mr. Mannering be there? Oh, well, no, no, Godfrey, no, he won't. Mr. Mannering is no longer a member of this platoon. Just a minute, Sergeant. That is not strictly true. You see, men, when I was told that I was no longer your commanding officer, I must admit that my first reaction was to leave quietly. Oh, dear. How sad. All right, Godfrey. <laughs> then I said to myself that the defence of this town must come first. This country needs every able-bodied man it can get, and no man can be an island unto himself. I was proud to march at your head as Captain Mannering. I am even prouder to march in your ranks as Private Mannering. That's all. He'll always be Captain as far as I'm concerned, Mr. Mannering. Come on, sir. You fall in a little bit beside me, sir. <laughs> Yes. Yes. Move over, Mr. Godfrey. Make room for Mr. Manrin. I do hope you'll be happy as one of us, sir. I'm sure I shall, Godfrey. Crawlers. <laughs> That's Toon. Toon. Miss Anne, shut. Oh, dear. I was a bit late, then. Well, never mind, sir. Never mind. We'll try it again. Toon. Stand out. Ease. Don't worry. I'll get it. I used to have the same trouble, Mr. Manrin. <laughs> Mind you, I've practised and I'm all right now. All right. Turn, turn, turn. <laughs> well, I'm nearly always right. <laughs> all right, all right. Come on, Jones, come on. Yeah, sorry about that. I think Mr. Manley must have put me off. Yeah, all right. Once again. Turn, stand up, ease. I'm oh, sorry, I can't understand it. <laughs> For goodness sake. It's taken Jones a year to get it right. And now Mannering's put him back where he started. Yes, well, I think we'd better settle for that now, uh... All right, now pay attention, please. As you know... Hold steady by then, are we? Very sergeant, name's Gregory, drill sergeant. Uh, is the platoon ready? Ready for what? Drill. I'm supposed to give you an hour's drill tonight. You knew about this days ago. Oh, yes, of course, yes. I've forgotten. Oh, forgotten, had you? Well, you won't forget me again. <laughs> Leave a lasting impression, I do. Right, let's have a look at you all. Mr. Mannering, are you sure you wouldn't like to slip quietly away? I don't think I have anything to fear, Wilson. Sergeant? Oh, but it's so awkward, sir. Who's that talking in the ranks there? And you, Sergeant, did I hear right? Were you calling him, sir? Well, uh, 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 What is he then, knight or something? <laughs> Looks like a rough knight to me. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with a lot of you? Ain't you got no sense of humour? Come on, laugh! <laughs> well, that's better. Have a good laugh. Get plenty of air in your lungs. I do a lot of laughing, I do. <laughs> in my job, I get plenty to laugh about. I think a lot of you will give me a few chuckles before the evening's over, too. <laughs> <laughs> and what are you laughing at, lad? What's your name? Godfrey. Well, what are you laughing for? Oh, I'm not really laughing. That's my normal expression. <laughs> well, looking at you, I think that's about the only thing that is normal. <laughs> And you get that out on straight. R referring to me, Sergeant? Yes, you, Sir Harry Lord. And don't stare at me as though I was something the wind had blown in. Do it! Yes, yeah, Sergeant. Right away, Sergeant. And who have we got here? That's Lance Corporal Jones. Oh, an old campaigner, eh? That's right, Sergeant Gregory. I went all through. I bet you did. <laughs> I expect you've been through more than I've had up dinners. <laughs> well, Kitchener may need you, but I don't. I mean, I don't know what I'm doing here tonight. I could have been doing something useful, like drilling soldiers. What a sloppy lot. Talk about Fred Carnos. What are you, the boys of the old brigade? And what do you think that you're going as, Sergeant? With your collar undone and your cuffs rolled up like that? Well, I... Now, you're not on Daddy's yacht, you know. You'll be wearing a silk scarf next. Well, I'm terribly sorry, but I... I oh, I just... oh, so you're terribly sorry, are you? Well, get yourself smartened up. All right, Sergeant. The old lot of you need a good shaking up by the looks of you. I think we'll have a bit of running on the spot that'll liven you up. Right, off you go. Hup, 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 hup. Come on, come on, pick them up. You look like some foreign Nancy boys treading grapes. <laughs> hup, hup, hup. No, not you, Jones, not you. I don't want to be had up for manslaughter, do I? <laughs> but I like it, I like it, Sergeant <laughs> No, no, you'd better not, all right, platoon. Halt! I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. You're such a nice old gentleman. You remind me of my granddad. Oh, really? Yes, he died ten years ago. <laughs> we dug him up last week and he looks better than you do now. Out of here. You're going too far. I beg your pardon? Who said that? I did. Oh, 
So it's the nasty night again. You're going too far. Did you hear that, everybody? His lordship says I'm going too far. Well, you're not going too far, but you're not going to get nowhere. All right, now you just get winning on the spot of the double. Are you ready? Hop, 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 come on there. Get it up. Come on there. Come on, get your legs up. Come on, get your legs up. I think you ought to know that Mr. Mannering used to be our officer. No need to bring that up, Wilson. Officer, was he? I hate officers. Pick him up. Come on, come on. I'll give you a wet shirt. Come on, up, 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 up. I'll teach you to help me back. You want a little nut, you? Come on, up, up. Get him up. Come on, get your legs up there. Higher the ladder, so good. I am much higher than that. Well, I don't know, sir. I know anything like it in my life. I don't see anything like it. Oh. Hello, Mr. Fraser. Hello, Jones. Is Mannering in tonight? No, I don't think so. Oh, still recuperating, is he? Well, Sergeant Gregory did give him a pretty rough time, you know. I think he's really staying away to make it easier for Mr. Wilson. Well, if they don't hurry up and appoint a new officer, there'll be no platoon left to command. It's falling to pieces, if you ask me. Oh, oh please don't say that, Mr. Fraser. It's true, Godfrey. The men's morale's at rock bottom. Look at that disastrous battle exercise against the Southgate platoon yesterday. Sergeant Wilson led us right into an ambush. Yeah, right there, Mr. Mandin wouldn't have done that. Uh, well, he might have, but he'd have done it in a more dignified way. <laughs> yeah, battleman, it was more like a massacre. Only we could get Mr. Mandin back as our officer. Uh, the pen is often mightier than the sword. Oh, well, uh, how do you mean? Well, we could all write and say how much we respect and admire Mr. Mannering. There's no need to go that far. No, go on. <laughs> go on, Mr. Godfrey. And we could respectfully ask for his reinstatement. Touch Never listen to us. Well, it's worth a try. It's a good idea, Mr. Godfrey. I'll go and tell the others, and then we can all go home and write a nice letter to GHQ. <coughs> Dear sir... Permission to write. As an old soldier of 30 years' service and a member of the Royal Antediluvian Order of Buffaloes, <laughs> may I put in a good word for our late captain. His reduction in rank has had a shattering effect on our morals. <laughs> and furthermore, dear sir, may I most humbly and respectfully beg to place before you the following facts for consideration at your convenience, to whom it may concern. <laughs> Mr. Manor has always carried out his duties in a conscientious and diligent manner. <laughs> now, let me see, how did I put it? Dear Sirs, now that the post of commanding officer for the platoon is vacant, I would like you to consider a private who served with distinction during the last conflict. Unfortunately, a certain amount of jealousy has caused him to be passed by whenever promotion was due in the past. <laughs> in spite of all this, I feel I must speak up and reveal his name, which is Private Fraser. <laughs> Signed, a well-wisher. <laughs> Settle, settle down, chap. Settle down, please. Now, uh, Captain Turner, would like to say a few words. Oh, thank you, Wilson. Now, before Mr. Mannering comes in, I'd just like to say that after receiving all those letters from the platoon, GHQ felt duty-bound to grant Mr. Mannering his commission. Hooray! Bloody disgrace. <laughs> in future, the three platoons, Eastgate, Southgate and Warmington-on-Sea, will be formed into a company. And Mr. Mannering will be second in command and have his rank of captain convert. Goodness, there's no need for them to overdo it. Ah, well, good news, eh, Sergeant Wilson? Yes, awfully good, sir. Yes, well, the letters we received from the platoon were unanimous in their praise for Captain Mannering. Or perhaps I should say all but one were unanimous. Ah, here's Captain Mannering now. Good old Captain Mannering, well done, sir. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. Oh, he's a jolly good fellow. Well done, Congratulations, Captain Mannering. I'm delighted for you. Thank you, sir. Well, I think I'll be off. Good night. Good night, sir. Three cheers for Captain Mannering. Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Hip hip. Hooray! Thank you, ma'am.
Thank you for your trust in me. Oh, I said we have great trust in you. <laughs> Thank you, Fraser. I can assure you all that I shall continue to lead you for as long as my country has need of me. I, 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 I'm thinking of making up another lance, Corporal. <laughs> I'd be proud to serve under you, sir. Now bear that in mind, Fraser. <laughs> well, Wilson, nasty business, eh? <laughs> Still... All's well that ends well. Yes, I must say it did have its funny side. <laughs> you know, when I got home, I laughed and laughed. <laughs> did you really? Yes, I did. I did. Yes. <laughs> I think all that time you were running things, you <laughs> you really had absolutely no authority at all, did you? <laughs> None at all. <laughs> You're absolutely right, Wilson. <laughs> I mean, I'd, I'd no power to promote you to sergeant, had I? No, of course, <laughs> of course you had no power at <laughs> Didn't you, sir? No. No, you see, sir, really, you shouldn't be wearing those stripes, you know. What? Oh, really, sir? Well, don't worry, don't worry. I'm sure we'll sort it all out in time. Meanwhile, perhaps you'd like to borrow my pen now. <laughs> That episode of Dad's Army from the original television series by Jimmy Perry and David Croft, you heard Arthur Lowe as Captain Mannering, John LeMessurier, Sergeant Wilson, Clive Dunn, Corporal Jones, John Lorry, Private Fraser, Arnold Ridley, Private Godfrey, John Ringham, Captain Turner, and Jack Watson as Sergeant Gregory. Room at the Bottom was adapted for radio by Michael Knowles and Harold Snowd and produced by John Dyer. <laughs> 